Well, if you clicked on this, and I'm assuming you have a Toyota that has developed a cold engine start rattle, and something just doesn't sound right. So watch these two short videos. This is what my 2011 RAV4, this is the noise that it was making prior to being repaired. So watch these two videos and see if it sounds like what your vehicle is doing. This is our 2011 RAV4, another example of the noise that it's making when it starts, when it's cold. Rattle. Our 2011 RAV4. Hopefully, you'll hear the rattle when it that it makes when it starts cold. That was it. All right, now watch this short video that will show you how it sounds now since having been repaired uh, under warranty and for free. We'll see right now. That sounded pretty good. Alright, didn't that sound a lot better? The engine rattle is gone. Uh, it's been repaired for about a week now and the rattle has not returned at cold startup, so hopefully it's fixed for good. So let me go inside and get on the computer and I'll pull up that TSB and um, tell you a little bit about my experience at the dealership which was good. They are very professional and uh, mine was under warranty so it was repaired for free. Alright, so hold on. Alright, when I said TSB I was referring to Technical Service Bulletin. This is number 0041-13 dated March 15, 2013 so now it's currently May of 2015 so even though this is two years old it is still in effect because it was just used to repair my 2011 RAV4. Brief engine not rattle noise at cold startup. They know they have an issue with it. That's, that's the whole purpose of the TSB to address the issue. Camry Highlander RAV4 Sienna Venza. Those are the models. And these are the years of vehicles covered under this TSB. Brief knock or rattle noise for approximately one second at a cold startup. That's exactly what we heard in the first two videos. This is more information to help them uh, figure out if your vehicle is covered by this TSB, the place of manufacturer, and they research it through the VIN number. If there's a powertrain warranty, if your vehicle is less than 60 months old and has less than 60,000 miles, this is a free repair under the powertrain warranty as mine was. Camshaft timing gear assembly, that's the main component that goes bad. There's an intake gear and a uh, exhaust gear, and one of those goes bad. They also replace all these gaskets. I'm not a mechanic, but this is what I've learned from, from dealing with this issue from speaking to the mechanic that repaired mine. These are the gears. One of these has gone bad, at least one of them. There's your timing chain. So this is a major internal engine component. And in the words of the mechanic, if it fails, you are going to have possibly catastrophic engine failure. It is a big deal. It may last a month with this noise. It may last six months. It may last a year or longer, but eventually it's gonna fail. So you need to get it addressed. It's major internal engine components again in his words not mine so you're gonna have to take it to your dealership drop it off come back the next morning listen to it at a cold startup because if you're having this issue you know as well as I do if you start it when it's warm if you just pull up to the dealership and crank it they're not going to hear it and the only way to diagnose this is for them to hear it when it starts up cold so drop it off come back the next morning pop the hood listen to it with the text right there if you have the experience that I had They'll hear the rattle and they, re they, they repaired it, no questions asked, um, no hassle to me whatsoever. And fortunately, mine was under warranty. So play them this video if you don't want to do any more than that. Say, hey, there's a YouTube video. The guy in the video, you know, the, the situation he explains is exactly what I think I have. So let's go watch that video and maybe that'll make it easy for you. So anyway, hope this information helps. Peace out from the state of Georgia.